All right, everyone. Thanks so much for listening to another episode of Garage Night. Garage Night brought to you by Cole Street Brewery, Bordeaux Wine Bar, and Mazet Lawn. Super excited to have them as sponsors. Also, thanks to your guys' support. I feel like PBS and listeners like you. Uh, the Patreons as well. Appreciate them. We'll shout them out later down the road. It's great to have Craig and Corey Bentley back on the mic. We got the Brothers Bentley back. Craig, what up? Salutations. That's good. I actually do like that one. That's better than most things he does. <laughs> Most most things. Most he, things. Anything he's ever done. Pretty much. Him just saying salutations is... It was, and, it was pretty smooth. And then Corey Bentley. Hello there. I'm not sweating, and I feel better about being in this room. You know, no Patreon... And I after seeing the pictures, I wasn't going to send it to him anyways, of you with your shirt. I don't think anybody would have wanted that. No one that. would have wanted that. No. I might make a baseball... I might, might make a baseball card out of it and sign it. Have you sign it, and then we'll... Uh, I'll sign it, yeah. We, we'll send it to uh, PSA and have them grade it. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Can you get a negative? <laughs> <laughs> and then we can send it on to... Did they uh, just ban you from sending cards <laughs> ever again. We can send it to Mariano Rivera. And he'll take it. Um, it's been a bit. People have been busy. We're, let's do a quick catch-up. Craig, it was your 20th anniversary, 20th wedding anniversary. Tell us about it. How did it go? It was a day. It was one day. <laughs> <laughs> no, we took a uh, took a trip to Boston. I'd never been there before. Did a whole week in Boston. So uh, it was actually very eventful. We crammed a lot. And from talking with people, we missed out on a lot. But we crammed a lot in the week we were there. Would so. you Would you go back? I would. I would go. I don't know if I would do a week there. I would maybe do it as a trip like – Couple days in Boston and maybe go up to New York because I've never been there either because I really want to go to Cooperstown. Cooperstown, what's uh, what's in Cooperstown? Uh, I'm not going to answer that. You should already know that. <laughs> Is that the Baseball Hall of Fame? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. No. It, I, so I think it'd be uh, I think it'd be fun to do that. So I would definitely add Boston as part of another trip. I don't know if I'd go there specifically just to visit Boston for the first time again ever. Although well, it wouldn't be the first time again ever. Well, I, but I mean, just in that type of environment, like going there thinking, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'd do a whole week there again. For, so, okay, I see. So you'd fly in maybe a day or two and then go someplace else. Yeah. Or you'd add it on. Or, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it'd be part of another trip. What would you recommend that you – where the places that you were able to go, where if people are like planning a trip to Boston the next year or so, what would you like – you got to go do this? If you've not been to Fenway, go to Fenway. And who'd they play? They played the Twins that night. That's pretty fun. Yeah, it was it was it was extra innings. They Have locked. you ever watched a game in person where it you had no vested interest in the most part? Like there wasn't like uh, Mariners or they weren't. I don't know who your baseball team. No, is. No, not not really. I mean, we did the whole. I I wanted to kind of fit in. I mean, I do like Boston. I don't, it's not like I hate the team. So I got like a Red Sox hat, and and we were we were like looked apart. Yeah, being there. Um, did you walk around like Bwah! like a. Like a Sam, like that's, Sam Adams. That's another story. <laughs> but uh, no, so but the game itself was awesome, and the stadium's actually a lot smaller than most stadiums. Like even if you go to the Mariners, you could on a good day get forty thousand people, right? Well, I don't know the exact number for Boston Stadium, but it's it's quite a bit smaller. So it's a more the environment there is a little bit. I would say it's not as small as the Rainiers, obviously, but I mean it's more that type of an environment. Nice the way the feel of it. Um, so the game was awesome. We did a tour before the game was even there. Did you go behind the green monster? We did. Not? Well, not where they do scoring, okay. not inside the, right. inside the thing, but we, we were up on the green monster, which I found out nobody can even get near that without tickets. You can't even like during a game, you know how people can walk around and look at stuff. Yeah. They won't let you anywhere on the green monster without having tickets. Oh, so you actually have to have like a bracelet or take something. Yeah. Something. Yeah. So wow. that was kind of cool. We got to go sit there for a while as part of the tour. The tour was a little over an hour and I would definitely recommend that also. That was an amazing, it was like 22 bucks also. I mean, it was, it was cheap. Yeah. And uh, dude, it was, it was a great time. I'd, That's awesome. Yeah. And Carrie was enjoying it the whole time. Carrie, too. Yeah. Carrie loved it also. I mean, she took, so many pictures on her phone it was ridiculous. Yeah. So no, it was it was a good week. Uh, we did this the typical tourist stuff. We were there also. They got a freedom. They call it the Freedom Trail. It's a whole bunch of history stuff you walk through. Went and had a uh, went through Paul Revere's house. Really? Went, yeah. Went and had a beer at the old. They say it's the oldest tavern in America. 
Wow. Um, did do the Sam Adams Brewery Tour, rode the ducks. I mean, we, we did a ton of stuff. Did it all. Yeah. Did you uh, have a sliding glass door from your hotel room that you could walk directly to the pool and jump right in Negative. late at night? Negative. Uh, the hotel we chose to stay in did not have a pool. Oh. Um, so then nothing we happened. Were barely, we were barely there. We were barely at the hotel room. Just enough to just get, get some <laughs> just shut enough sleep, yeah. Uh, where did you eat? Uh, all over. But they have uh, on the north side of Boston, they they refer to it as Little Italy. There is a ton of Italian food. Um, so I, I couldn't decide when we were there. If I, if I lived in Boston, I couldn't decide if I'd be 300 pounds <laughs> because of all the food I would eat. Yeah. Or I'd be like 150 pounds because the humidity and I sweat so much. And walk probably walk a yeah. bunch of places. So I couldn't decide which way it would go if I actually lived there. So then, tip, I mean, you're not... You're not in the middle of that kind of right now, but that's – so you're just you then? Because you would be doing both. Basically. So, <laughs> <laughs> Which is what we did when you were there. <laughs> so uh, what was the thing you said something about? Like I'm like, hey, you know, get some Sam Adams. What, was it at uh, Fenway where you were, you were playing the part? No. Or- so right – when we got there, the first day we got there, we flew in on Sunday. And that was right when the hurricane was supposed to hit in yeah, that area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so when we got it, we flew in that morning that it was actually hitting, which, you know, it never really amounted to a lot, especially up in Boston. But everybody would kind of did the whole hunker down thing. Yeah. And so we just, we were walking around the whole town, not a lot of places open. And we're literally there, got off, got off the plane, went and took care of some stuff. I mean, we're, we're maybe in Boston for two hours. We started walking around and I come around this corner and there's a, a car parked in the middle of the road, which I found out later that they just park wherever they want, UPS. They just park in the middle of the road, turn on hazard lights. But we're walking in this car, and this guy was probably the owner of the little shop we were walking by, comes out, and he goes, hey, you can't park that car there. And that's my Boston accent. Yeah. And that was good. It started good, and then it kind of went does, out. Yeah. It does. But what's funny about it is when he said that, yeah, I was maybe six, seven feet from him, and I – instantly repeated it in my boston accent in your head no out loud <laughs> <laughs> hey you can't that <laughs> and, and carrie just looks at me because the guy obviously heard me oh. <laughs> and it's like we haven't been here and you're already making fun of people <laughs> <laughs> so he pulled out a gun yeah so, but no, it was. Hey, you can't park the car here. <laughs> hey, you do yours now. Let's see, it's your core. Who's got the worst or the best accent? Go, Corey. I have the worst accent. You do it. Ever. You can't park that car here. <laughs> hey, you can't park the car here. It's Boston. <laughs> you idiot. It's wicked awesome. <laughs> it's, oh, it's weird. I like that. Give me another Sam Adams and now get out of the freaking middle of the street. You can't park the car here. Gosh, the here is the hardest part. Because the here is what's going to drop the R. You have to drop ours. Got your peanuts here. Yeah, Get you, you can't. That's put hard. your penis here? <laughs> <laughs> right what, in the street. What, what boss are you visiting? <laughs> From the stories I heard, that's hey, what was going on. Put your penis here. Hey, you can't. You can't fuck your you cock here. You can't fuck your But you, you can put, put your, your penis, penis right over here. <laughs> Come into the restaurant. Park your penis. <laughs> You park your, you park your vagina, you park your penis, and get you some pizzas. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds legit. You were. Yeah, that's good. So, Yeah, visit for that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the the 12 people that listen to us were, are rolling right now at that. <laughs> All the other people, the billions of people out there, they, they don't know what they're missing. Yeah. Um, so, so uh, you know, give a scale of 1 to 10. I got two different scales here. Okay. Yeah. Regular vacation. Just you and your wife. Do you recommend it to anybody else? Regular vacation skill, you know, what would you give it? Regular vacation, I'm going to guess it's probably like six or seven. Okay. Uh, anniversary trip, what's your recommend there? Uh, same for me. Same? Okay. I mean, I know there's a lot of people that would rather <laughs> He's go. like, that's just a normal trip, <laughs> man. <laughs> I mean, I know there's a lot of people that rather, you know, go to Cancun or go sit on a beach and do that kind of stuff, but we're not – a hundred percent that type of people. So, so uh, what about family trip? Would you know? No, the kids would have hated it. They would have hated it. Yeah. You, so you. They would have been a lot of walking. They wouldn't have cared about it. A lot history. of walking. Yeah. <laughs> they wouldn't have cared about the history behind it. Yeah. What it do would, I care about this suck. house? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <clears throat> cool. Well, right on. Well, welcome, welcome back. Thank you. How, did you did you pick up a little bit of an accent? A little bit. No, I tried. 
like when we were leaving also it was about the same when i got there isn't it like isn't it like irish catholic <laughs> in boston like that's where they kind of come up with and, and so you get the there's, de- there's you de- look like you they probably expected him to have it yeah yeah, yeah. yeah they expected you there yeah I House of pain. You fit. You fit. You fit then in. Then they're just disappointed when he talked. Why not Philadelphia for your twenty year? Well, the original plan was going to include a Eagles game, also, but that didn't work out. You, we stay there a month. We were going to do a like late September. Oh, type. I see stuff, but that didn't work out. Instead, he has to go to a different game. We're going in October. Seahawks. Nope. Eagles versus. Oh, Eagles Colts. Well, it's not it's Eagles Colts. It's but. Colts Titans in Colts Titans in Indy in Indy. What well, front row? Are you gonna wear your Eagles jersey? No, you should just be like the guy who's like, I'm going to a football game. I'll just wear an NFL jersey, <laughs> like like a Europe game <laughs> where the entire stadium just different jerseys. That's just well, that's how it is. Like I remember going to freaking Mariner games and seeing some, you know Mariners playing the Padres, and someone shows up in like a athletics jersey it just looks like, like ba- baseball like, baseball right? i like baseball <laughs> i'm here for the game yeah. you're just rob low with a with an nfl uh, <laughs> <laughs> um you should just wear a referee shirt I, I did search i did not see any mariners jerseys at the red sox game oh really yeah they're america's team right now <laughs> mariners america's team uh i let me tell my tim uh, let me tell my my seth loop story Let's hear it. Seth Loop and I went, and uh, the funny thing about Seth, as I get to know him more and more, um, he is an excited. Like, like he gets excited. Like this guy, like you could you could walk up to him and say, uh, you know, hey, well, I I know that Tim Noah meant a big deal to him actually, because I so I posted on Facebook. I thought I was gonna get maybe ten people coming out. No big deal. We had three. Shout out to me. <laughs> As one of those. And Desi B, uh, short notice for that. And then also uh, Seth Loop. Seth Loop sends me a text. I posted it like two minutes on Facebook. And then t- two minutes later, he texts, you shit me right now? I got to go work in Tim Noah's yard? Absolutely. F- yeah, let's go. Like the most excited I've ever heard anyone say anything, let alone uh, uh, with a bunch of cuss words, going to go see a former child's entertainer. <laughs> <laughs> He <laughs> went as a kid. It's fucking Tim Noah. Yeah. So we went there, had a, had a great oh, time. Explicit it was a, now. Thanks, Corey. Dude, but well, I You're said, welcome, shit. YouTube. So Seth, <laughs> Seth, uh, he was the hero. Like, Tim Noah, I think, was ready to, like, kick me out and just bring Seth Loop into the circle of trust. Because Seth brought this, like, steel power tool, you know, like a weed eater that could disconnect at the end take off the weed eater put in this and i don't know what it was I, I, he called it an edge trimmer or a hedge i don't know what it would just rip blackberry vines in half and uh that's what that's what we were clearing and i'm telling you if we didn't bring that thing we would still be there with our little pruners trying to get rid of it it doesn't <laughs> surprise me that the best dressed softball player is the most prepared he worker. was so prepared no, it doesn't surprise me absolutely and it, 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 he was like oh man i should have brought this and that but even then that would be over prepared just what he was able to do tim did you remember gloves did you bring gloves? i brought gloves okay. I, that's all i brought <laughs> guys get in my hand i forgot gloves i'm supervising <laughs> I'll take the pictures. Uh, Tim was so excited and so thrilled with us that that night we all had like a victory dinner at Mazatlan. And, and uh, it was me, my wife, uh, Seth and Kelly, Desi, and then also uh, Sarah Johnson hit us up. Hey, what are you guys doing? She, she came out. And Tim was just texting me off the hook, like nonstop texting thank you tell seth thank you tell desi that's awesome when people found out that we drove from enumclaw to granite falls to do this they're like you're from enumclaw <laughs> why are you out here right now but it was a lot of fun uh, seth an absolute hero desi an absolute hero as well uh there was a guy though and i, I don't know if you heard this on on the gold buddy cast if you guys listened to it but at the towards like the end we had like a little bit of a lunch and uh i was sucking in because I'm a sweaty mess. I got a tight shirt on that was I got like three years ago. So And I wasn't planning on on wearing. I, I had my hoodie on, and I thought it was, wasn't was going to be that hot. It was hot. So I, I had to bust off the hoodie. Anyway, I'm sitting there, 
And this guy, very nice guy, he goes, I'm sucking in. He goes, why are you sucking in? I'm like, I'm just sucking in. I'm like, I feel a little self-conscious. He goes, and he's, and this guy's probably late 50s. He's like, dude, don't be uh, don't be self-conscious, man. You got a nice, you got like a, you got like a trash can chest. <laughs> and I'm like, in my head, I'm like, what? I mean, I, I also thought maybe trash bag chest, but he had then he had said uh, he must be doing a lot of like a lot of benching and stuff. Like you're 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 I like I wish I had that I wish I had that. And uh, how many pushups can you do? <laughs> Gosh dang it! I did not want you to bring that up. I actually last night did some pushups just to kind of see where I'm at. There's no way I'm even hitting 16. Like, <laughs> but we got to do them. We got to do them. Um, Ah, anyway, dang it! I wish I didn't say that. But, but uh, anyway, the funny thing was, I came home and I'm like, oh, I, he meant barrel chest. And you, even Seth, like on the ride home, which dude, Seth can talk, and he and I can talk. And uh, I was so tired. I'm just like, hey, I need 20 minutes. <laughs> and I just slept while he drove <laughs> for 20 minutes. I popped right up. All right, back to conversations. But um, yeah, I came home told told Jamie, I'm like, hey, you ever heard the term barrel chested? She's like, no. I'm like, you never heard barrel chested before? She's like, no. I said, you ever heard of trash can chested? <laughs> no. So I'm like, okay, good. Better, better. She's was, like, yeah, she's, uh, yeah. yeah. That's the one I usually say. <laughs> By the way, you're trash can chested. <laughs> Boy, it makes me feel attractive. Um, but yeah, no. So anyway, trash can chested is a new is a new term. Um, we're making it a new term. Perfect. So Craig, on a scale of one to ten, just kidding. Uh, would you recommend trash can chested? I thought you were gonna have him like sit up, like <laughs> everybody measure their chest. <clears throat> hey, shout out to Chris Struley. He uh, he he's putting together this golf tournament that I th- hopefully I think Craig's gonna be a part of. I believe so. We got Seth in there. We got a guy that we cannot mention his name until we get permission, and we may not even take pictures and post them on. And then <laughs> Emily from uh, Cole Street gonna be golfing a foursome. Yeah, for uh, Chris Drewley. And shout out to Andy Cardenas at Mazatlan for sponsoring a full buddy cast um, foursome. So that's awesome. That's very cool. Thank you, Andy. Appreciate you big time. Guys, go to Mazatlan. Please tell uh, tell Andy what up and then uh, order some food. Um, and maybe one day, maybe one day, if you order it enough, you will have a plate named after you like joey's has i don't know who else is going to be out there someday maybe hopefully hey fingers crossed it's me someday and also double fingers crossed it's not holly with the bean burrito what would you what's what's your order what's your mexican order what's your food uh yeah we usually get the same thing so it could be it can be the super bentley burrito instead of the super burrito true (laughs) the super bentley burrito yeah (laughs) We, we both get the super burrito. People <laughs> visiting and have no clue what any of these meals are. <laughs> they, fl- they they drive in from Crystal. All right, we're gonna have the. Uh, oh shoot, these all have like. <laughs> like, a, like that's, mi- hey, that's not that far off from su- super burrito. Super, <laughs> super Bentley burrito. That super, sounds yeah, sophisticated. That does, yeah. <laughs> you know, that, it does. That sounds, you can probably charge an extra two dollars just by putting that name. <laughs> I'll pi- I'll pitch it to him. Yeah. If you guys start showing up a whole lot more to Mazalon and order I door that, dash from there. Well, he, see, he doesn't see that. I'll and I'll put it in the messages. No, you just need to show up and eat. <laughs> this is me. Tell Andy this is Corey <laughs> when you pick up the door dash. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, you guys do the whole thing. Do the fun thing of uh, commenting uh, your favorite meals on this podcast or or going, we, we shared that one, uh, shout out to Sarah Elliott who won the $25 gift card for sharing the Mazatlan with a picture of, uh, and full buddy cast for, uh, with Katie, uh, Ainsworth Martinez and, and Mike Martinez, Mike on the mic. Did you guys see that picture? I did. Pretty ridiculous looking picture, right? I guess pretty, but I've never seen Katie that excited in my entire life. (laughs) And uh, and that was what was funny for me because she was hamming it up. She didn't know it was going to be on Mazatlan. <laughs> she had no clue. She was actually hamming it up for uh, for Joey because we're, we're trying to get Joey to come down there and, and, and gave the thumbs up and come on down. And uh, you didn't have express written consent for that picture. Well, then <sighs> then uh, Andy hits me up. He goes, "Hey, you know, you've been taking a lot of pictures at some of these events lately. Can I get some of those? Because I want to put them on on the page." And so I was just. 
fly just send and send and send it and i got that one i'm like ah he's probably gonna look at that and not but yeah no that was like the first one he posted <laughs> <laughs> I immediately got Jamie in the car. I said, we're going to Mazelon, but we got to go pick up Katie and Mike, and we got to go take them to Mazelon too, because I don't want them seeing this <laughs> quite yet. <laughs> so anyway, <sighs> I'm all talked out. Corey, what's going on with your life? The same old thing. Same old thing. What, like, yeah. what, what, like, Working, what is... football starting. I'm excited for that. We'll get, we'll get into football for a second, but the next question is, how is the garage sale? Uh, it was okay the first day. We had uh, pretty good traffic, and then the second day was absolutely horrible, and we closed like four or five hours early and took everything and donated it. Yeah. That's it? Yeah. You had the exact same like, experience I had? Like, if people would have showed up, and like, if there would have been like $10 on something, then it'd be like, I'll give you a dollar. We would like, yeah, yeah, take it. Like, we could just had anything, and, no, and nobody would make offers. They'd show up and walk around, Yeah, and if they would have offered anything, we would have been like, yep. Yours and nobody would offer anything. See, that's the, that's that's the thing. I almost posted this, but I was told by my store manager wife, uh, who was trying to start a garage sale business. I think uh, she got confused. It was just gonna be one weekend only. Um, <laughs> I was like, hey, let's just just say, hey, last ha- like end of the day, everything's yeah a dollar, and 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 no, 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 no. We could be, okay. Five people walked in. Maybe we made like another eight bucks, but that was it. And you could have made like sixteen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Easily. Yeah. Easily. Yeah. You could have doubled your money. So did you? Uh, I had the same conversation with Holly. In fact, Holly did the same thing we did. Begged and pleaded for people to come to the the garage sale online, and then all the money that we made on Saturday, we took to the casino and lost it <laughs> Saturday night. <laughs> so we go back Sunday. Ah, we'll replenish, and then nothing. So what? Did you sell anything? And I'm going to ask this because I did, but did you sell anything that you really didn't want to sell, but you ended up putting it in the garage sale and selling it? Or maybe someone asked you about it and you're like, fine, yes, I do have some of these. Because collectors will come around and like, hey, do you got albums? Do you got this? Do you got that? Well, for one, it was at my parents' house. And so there was nothing that like you I, could ha- just that I had that I would run and grab. Gotcha. And most of it was for me coming out of getting or selling my house. And like taking everything I had, and it was a lot of that stuff, just getting rid of it. So it wasn't like I had like super cared how much the pricing was on it. It was like somebody just needs to buy it, and just grab it, and be gone. Just go. Yeah, I wanted to make a hundred dollars. That was my goal. Did you get it? Yeah. How much did you really make? Hundred eight. I don't know the full total. We gave most of it to his daughters to make these uh, bracelets. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I did. I spent about like twenty five dollars in bracelets because I kept giving her five bucks because she kept making them. Oh, really? And I was like, I'll give you five bucks for it. And she tried selling at the yard sale too. And what 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 would what, they say? The ones I have. Yeah. Uh, she made me ones for my fantasy football team. So one says the BCFL, and one says BC Kings, and then she made one that said, uh, "Was it Best Uncle?" Yeah, I, think it was I was wondering uncle. if that was gonna, if that was and then be the Colts one. The Colts one. She made one that says Colts. In Colts colors. Oh, I thought you said the Colts won. Like, 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 oh, the, no. I, like you'd wear it the rest of the week <laughs> yeah. if the Colts win. Yeah. You just put them on. He could, he could only do that <laughs> yeah. if he had a Colts loss also and had to wear it. I had to, I had to choose. <laughs> Sweet, I'm going to wear my Colts won bracelet all week. <laughs> God, that would suck having to wear a Colts loss bracelet all week. <laughs> that would be a great... I'd break it. You know what would be cool is if you guys had a bet going... That was the Eagle. You guys had two bracelets made. The Eagles won. The Eagles lost. The Colts won. The Colts lost. And then if they won, you got to wear it all week long. But it had to, you'd have to wear, basically, it'd have to be something to where you, uh, it would negate. If they, if they both lost, you wouldn't have to wear it. But if one did lose, the other won. Oh, you mean like the whole season, week to week? Yeah. In fact, if she made duplicates. So she made duplicates where then if, like, let's say the Colts lost and the Eagles won, you would wear Colts lost, Eagles won bracelet, and then you would have to wear the <laughs> I'd have to wear Eagles won Eagles won, and then the Colts lost. That sounds horrible. <laughs> Dude, I already have so many bets I've made, I can't even remember them What's all. your guys' main bet for when the Colts and Eagles played this week, this year, though? I don't even think they – do they play this year? Oh, was that last year? Yes. Oh, that was last oh, year they no. did it. I don't think they play this year. Yeah, I don't think they play. Oh, okay. But I swear they just... Oh, unless... I have a bunch of bets because they play the Hawks week one. Uh, oh, that's right. Yeah. 
free win for us. Yeah, I'm sure. Seahawks have the easiest schedule, according to something such and such. I, I typed it in because I wanted to see what defense I should probably pick up for fantasy football. Probably the Colts defense. No, they said Seahawks defense because they play. They have the easiest How's that schedule. Possible when they play the NFC <clears throat> um, West so much because the Rams. The Rams suck. Rams aren't going to suck. Arizona's decent, but they're not great. And Niners were like, what, 2 and 6, 14 or 15 last year? Like, we got a week. We got a, we got a week. Uh, I think the NFC West still. Who do you think wins that division? Do you think the Seahawks win that division? Absolutely. Single handedly. No. Russell Wilson single handedly. No. Nope. I'm a big Russell. I wanted him traded at the end of the last season. I'm back on the Russell Wilson trade. <laughs> I, I think it depends on who's quarterback in uh, the, San Fran. The Niners. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be interesting. Uh, so let's talk a little fantasy football because, guys, what we do is every Sunday morning is we give a little taste of what our stardom, sit em, pick em, and pick em off the waiver wire. Not in that order. Um, we, we kind of give our, our ideas there so you can listen to it like Jared Skelly does. And then um, just don't just don't uh, ever listen do, to us. Do the opposite. Do the yeah. opposite. We also listen to Trav choose like seven different survivor teams somehow. <laughs> 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 but no, we're going to do true survivor. By the way, we're doing a fantasy football uh, full body cast. If we, right now we have about five people that are in on it. We might make it an eight person league. We will be drafting Wednesday, September 7th, 8th, 8th, September 8th. And uh, so if you want to be a part of that, let me know. Message me, comment, DM me. It'd be fun all, all, all year long to talk some trash here and there, you know. And try to beat me. And uh, try to beat Corey. Thanks. Corey's going to be part of it. Craig, are you part of it? I can't make the draft, so no. No, it's not going to be. Well, why can't you make the draft? I got practice Wednesday night. Well, that's fine, but, but we can auto-draft you. Mm. It's full body cast free you buy can, in. You can send, you're gonna, a, you're send gonna, somebody to draft you'll, for you. You'll win a I'm gift in. card. Auto draft? I'm yeah. In. Do you know who you can send to draft for you? 18. Talk him, get 18 Ooh, to come draft for you. I want 18 to get his own team, actually. You hit him up. And I want our guy who's going to be golfing with us to become a, uh, a, a part of this podcast that <laughs> nobody will ever see. I feel like he reminds me kind of a. Of a uh, what's, what's the. Like, what's the, with an ex- executioner. I feel like he would be like an executioner uh, back in like the medieval times. He kind of, you know, he he just wears that. I think the, that would be a lot the of veil, a lot of energy for him to waste <laughs> that, he, that he wouldn't want to do. I think well, what, what he, he would have everyone kind of get tied up or whatever, and all he'd have to do is just pull the lever. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then he would just go back. Yeah. Okay, you guys, clean that up. And uh, it'd be a remote button. See, it's like. <laughs> 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 mm, dead <laughs> see you next week yeah. um anyway that'd be fun so let's talk fantasy football just a little bit let's get a little tease going uh so you guys had your draft already i've drafted a couple leagues with eric uh madrid and then uh another one with my brother-in-law who is who are you thrilled with that you have on your team right now um who is the one that you picked up that uh, that you're just like yes, that's who I wanted. Corey, go first. Mike, did you get Mike Davis? Correct? Craig, Craig's no, back because Mike Davis Mike is Davis. on my team. Was it right before? You- oh, Corey, you grabbed him. <laughs> I do. Um, per- you guys a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> and here and here's the funny thing is I nabbed Mike Davis even though I have Barkley, McCaffrey, and Najee Harris. <laughs> I don't even need him. Don't even need him. But he's not going to be on your team. <laughs> well. Uh, so are you? So it sounds like you're running back heavy a little bit. Who's your wide receivers? I have way too many wide receivers. I have uh, Mari Cooper, Stephon Diggs, Chris Godwin, yeah. Terrence Marshall, and Michael Pittman. Godwin is he still on uh, the Bucks? Yeah. See, you got Amari and Godwin. That's Thursday night football. That's the first it's first week. First week for yep. uh, it's first game of the week or season. That's awesome. I had to pick up a cow a couple Cowboys just because I needed. To, I wanted to get that going too. Uh, Craig, tell us your favorite pickup right now. I don't know my favorite pickup. Okay, tell I, us your pickup. I will tell you this. I've talked a lot of trash about him over the last 15 years, and I said I would never do it. You got Tom Brady. I have Tom Brady as my That's amazing. I got uh, Hecker for my punter. Uh, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your kicker? <laughs> I got Johnny Hecker. I've had a lot of trash about this guy. <laughs> He's not a good putter. He's um, going to pick Mac Jones up so to be Tom, his backup, too. 
Tom Brady. Oh, and who who picked up Mac Jones? He's going to. You haven't done it yet? No, I have not. I'm surprised no one's no one's actually pulled the trigger on that yet. I, I don't. Uh, I think in I'm your league, with... your league, somebody did, but mine, I don't think anybody has yet. Who else you got on your team besides Tom? Oh, I got Derrick Henry, your buddy. That, yes, I love Derrick Henry. Big Derrick Henry fan. You took Evans, didn't you? Uh, oh, what? Tom Brady and Mike Evans combined. Oh, yeah. I got yeah. Evans too. That's gonna Thursday night football. He also took Gronk, but that's his backup. I, I think. did. Oh. I did take Gronk also. Uh, t- uh, let's see the uh, rookie of the year. I got Devontae Smith. You mean Najee Harris? <laughs> nod your head, Najee Harris. Nod your head into the end zone. <laughs> Ooh, that's that be a great uh, team name. That would be nod your head into the te- in the end zone. And I got the uh, starting running back for the Baltimore Ravens, Gus Edwards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got to pick it up. You know who they're going to try. I already and- had him. He drafted. You know who I they're going to try. Him. You know who they're going to try and get though now. Who? Todd Gurley. Oh, who- he's on my team also. Nice job. They're not going to get curly. <laughs> they're trying. That's a, that's a shot a- in the dark. Shot a- in the dark right there. They're gonna Free get advice, Adrian, anybody. Adrian Peterson. So I was like two picks away from getting Patrick Mahomes like in the fourth round, but I settled for Herbert, which I'm taking. Here are my – here's my team, okay? Herbert, Johnny Taylor. That's a good pick. Uh, I got uh, Chase Edmonds. <sighs> Uh, Stephon Diggs, Amari Cooper, Travis Kelsey, Gus Edwards, Seahawks D, and then I got Corey Davis, Mostert, Gallup, Landry, Justin Fields, just in case, and Austin Hooper. My team name, Diggs and Deeper in the Fields. Not, not bad. I'm, I'm rooting for your receivers. I'm rooting for my running back as well. Not just your receivers. Why? Because you have the same ones? Because I have Cooper and Diggs. <laughs> You're not really. Right. Care you're, less about your team. What about Gus Edwards? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, your team's stupid. So there's there's a theory floating around there of do not focus on running backs when you draft. Just try to get wide receivers in your first and, and quarterbacks and and even tight end. Like let your running back be your last pick prior to your kicker and and, and defense. The zero running back strategy. Have you heard about that? I have. And and that makes kind of sense because then you can you've got some core wide receivers that they can get injured, but they don't get injured as quickly as running backs. So I don't know, the wide receiver depth was super deep this year. Insanely deep. So uh, you could have waited and got a lot of receivers. True, that is true. Depending on on what size league. You guys are 12 man league? It's 10 for mine. 10 right now? Yeah. So that's why I have eight, like eight receivers on my roster. I can't decide. I like them all. And uh, for all those people that aren't listening yet, I mean, this see when you guys listen on, uh, you know, it's be you know, September third, Labor Day weekend coming up. The first game of the year is Thursday. Um, real quick, are Cowboys you Cowboys Bucks? All right, let's just do our quick pick for this one. Who do you guys think in Cowboys or the Bucks? Bucks by forty. Whoa, that's Whoa. that's an insane man over there. <laughs> I think. <laughs> Gonna, he already knows. It's going to be in the fourth quarter. Like Dak's going to be like dropping back. He's Dak's gonna, dead after the first quarter. He's going to throw a bomb. Is to, Dak even playing? He's going to throw a bomb to Cooper for a fifty-yard touchdown at the very end of the game. Who's going to ladder up to Gallup? And it's still going to be it's still going to be thirty-one fourteen bucks. <laughs> mid game, mid game. Uh, who is the tight end? Whitman. Whitten unretires from the booth. Comes down to the sidelines and wins the game. That's my pick. Is, is he in the booth again? I don't know. He was good. I liked him. Maybe he, he like Bobby Romo. it at halftime. Romo. No. Romo and Witten. That'd be kind of a fun little matchup, actually, to have those two guys tell some uh, tell some things. Did you hear about – did you see uh, – oh, by the way, let me give my quick pick. I'm going to go Buccaneers, obviously. Bucks. Absolutely. Are we going to make bets again this year? We'll be doing bets, but not this podcast. We'll do our we'll do the one for That's what I mean. Yeah, 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 absolutely. We'll do bets. We'll do yeah. random weirdo bets. I think we got three dollars that are carrying over from last year. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. <laughs> nice shirt, by the way. Love the brouhaha full buddy cash shirt that Corey is wearing. Yeah. I am getting new gear. I always say that, but I am actually getting new gear. I want to get. I'm going to get hats this time. A lot. Of, I I shouldn't say a lot of people, but from what I've heard, people would like hats going forward uh, for the next gear drop. Are they so, fitted hats? No, they will be um, 
Sorry, I'm sorry. Are they Garage Night merch? There will be just full body cast hats. But if you want to kick some of that garage sale money into Garage Night merch. I don't merch, have Patreon members that pay for me. You know what? That's another <laughs> thing. Not enough people are paying me. No, not enough. No, we should do some shout outs for that. But, but uh, Garage Night sale. Yeah, for Patreon members. Not many people do. That one I saw is back to 50 a month. It's yeah. It's like two months. They can buy t-shirts for Garage Night. Yeah, no. That's that's why, that's why how I'm able to fund. By the way, <laughs> if you're a Patreon person, and you've been a Patreon person for these next uh, these past few months, not not none of the new people, but but some of the long timers, the, their hat will be free to you. Okay? So that that's, hat will be free to you. That's gracious of you. Yeah, I'm, even though you don't have a board yet, I would. If I was them, I'd be demanding a board. Well, I've got one person who is definitely demanding a board. So are you gonna are you gonna name the people as you're doing your pushups? Yeah. Oh, I'm supposed to do push. Oh, that's a. Yeah, that's how you should name them. Let's try it. Yeah, because you can probably get. What do you have? Twelve now? Thirteen? You can probably get that many. We're push-ups. up to sixteen. I think, Ooh, and I that's a, and that's as many as I did last time. You know what? Your <laughs> pushups can be done if you put a wood board up here with their names. And I try. That's your it. punishment until you get your board. All right, I'll say their names with each push-up, and it might, like, halfway through sound like I'm having sex with them. Do you want me me to hold your mic down there? No. No, I'll just, I'll (laughs) shout it out. Are you going to do push-ups over top of your phone? There we go. Yeah, no, let's go. All right, so, yeah, I'm going to go over the phone. I'm going to scroll at some point, too. All right. Oh, in flip-flops. I like it. Yeah, this is going to be difficult. Kill it all! (laughs) Holy crap! Eric Madrid! Adam Kenny! Casey Scott, Seth Blue, Desi B. Out of breath. <laughs> Out of breath. Cassie Spencer, Ira Potter, Anon, Shekinah Sorver, Jared Skelly, Homer Robertson, Veronica Lara. And then... Take a breath. Ben Brown! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ben, ben Elvin. Ben Elman. I was seeing stars. I was 16. Oh. That's that's punishment until you put a board up. Once oh. you get your board up, you're done. That was a good workout. I felt good. Wait till we record the next episode. I'm super- you <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh, sucks. All right. So we got a few more minutes. You go down to a craft store, get yourself a nice little board. Put some names on there. No more push-ups. No more push-ups. Give people <sighs> what they want. We be sore tomorrow. That was rough. Hold on. You know, you know what gave me the strength, though? I feel like those push-ups were a lot easier than last time. I feel like I was struggling a lot more last time. Because you separated your legs? It's these, it's these bracelets. <laughs> 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 they gave me power. Thank you, Sid. Thank you, Sid, for this power. They're power beads. What? <laughs> <laughs> I, d- I dare you to Google power beads right now <laughs> and, s- and see. How do you know I haven't already? How <laughs> do you know he doesn't have some? Yeah. <laughs> you don't know what I do. <laughs> oh. Well, um, and I, I'm happy that you had your nice relaxing. Was it relaxing? Or did you feel like you needed like a couple days off when you came back from your anniversary no, trip? No, overall, it was. It, I mean, it was. Anytime you go somewhere, I think you should be relaxed because you're not having to deal with everything else. Yes. Even though we crammed a lot of stuff in, it was still relaxing. <laughs> I really, I really feel like long... saying things like crammed a lot of stuff <laughs> in on your anniversary trip probably isn't the thing to say. Well, that's a long That's a long flight, though. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes hey, you just got to do what you got to do. Did you join the Mile High Club? <laughs> no. See, I feel like the Mile High Club is probably super hard to join. At least it is on a Southwest airplane. I mean, well, Ca- it's Carrie probably doesn't like flying anyway. Oh, really? So she's just, so she's sleeping, knocking her out. Uh, kind of, <laughs> dude. I'll say this. So <laughs> we're getting this done. So if I have to knock you out one way or another, yeah. it's my high club. So she doesn't she doesn't care for flying. And I, I hate I hate flying. See, too. and I don't mind it. But I'll say this: we were about an hour, hour and a half into the flight to Boston. And the captain came on. He's like, hey, we're putting the seatbelt sign back on. We're going to be going through some turbulence. Okay, cool. You know, dude, the turbulence lasted like 40 minutes. Yeah. And see, if, even for me, it was a little bit much. And like we had, there was a couple, uh, two rows in front of us. There was a little kid that got sick. 
because it was like the most bouncing around. Dude, mm. it was, and I, it's been a long time since I've even been through that on a plane. The turbulence is the opportune time to join the mile hike. <laughs> <laughs> It's like putting the quarter yeah. in, in the like vibrating a, bed. It's a love bed. <laughs> <laughs> it does have to work for you. <laughs> oh, gosh, that's funny. Craig's like, oh, turbulence, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, did you hear? Did you hear? Hey, can we, hey miss, can we get a blanket? <laughs> oh, man. That is... Uh, yeah, so I hate it too, though. I'm the same way. Is she a ru- does she like to ru- not rush? And I'm talking about like in life. I hate waiting. So so for me, you gotta go to the car. Gotta go to the the car place to drop off. You know your car. You gotta, you gotta wait for the shuttle. Then you gotta go to the airport. I bought freaking. Um, I sold my soul. I sold my identity to the government for uh, clear, just because I just hate standing in line, which. I, I cannot wait to use clear. I did it last time. Helped a little bit. Probably shaved the time off where I'm off at the uh, you know security like 10 minutes, 15 minutes faster. But still, it's like, it was so worth it. I hate waiting in line. But then you go sit at a freaking terminal. And then you got to get on. Then you got to go get in line. And then you got to go on a plane and sit there for everyone to freaking sit down. And then you get to go fly out. It's like, just get me there. It is horrible you just need to change the way that you think about it Ooh, all ooh that- wait 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 time out kind of deep with Corey right now <laughs> we were able to sneak this one and i didn't know how we we're gonna do it <laughs> Corey, getting kind of deep with you go no when you're waiting that's opportunity for you to meet people and you can talk about your full buddy cast with people you do all your pictures like you did in vegas with that lady yeah. what if you did that with somebody in the airport and you made a new friend just because you were sitting there that was kind of deep go a little bit deeper though what, what do you want? Besides friends. Like, what else could I do with my time? At the airport? Yeah. Oh, there's many things you could do at the airport. I mean, I I think you're right on that. Here's here's the thing. Okay, I used you, to... You just got to f- fill your time and not and learn patience. Yeah. I, like, that's, I can't learn that. You, you can't... You're not going to speed the process up. Right. But I could if I rush it. How? Just showing up like a half hour for... How my, are you going to rush them? Well, no, I would rush. I, I would be rushed. I'd be more stressed out, but it's less waiting time. How is it less waiting time? The flight leaves at the same time or even later if they're well, delayed. If I show up there three hours ahead of time and I could go that and they take a nice long waiting time, that's fine. But if I'm going to, uh, you know, if I get there a half hour before my, my flight leaves, yeah, there we go. I'm not waiting as much and I'm stressed the entire time. I've got my clear. I'm good there. And I board immediately. I just cut my waiting time like in half. Mm-hmm. You're really missing out on things. <laughs> so many people you could meet. If you flew weekly, I would say that made sense. But if you fly, even if you were only flying once every couple months, that's that doesn't make a lot of sense. You know, there's people out there that fly from work for work. They fly in to meet with people or for a meeting. They sit in that meeting for like two hours three hours and then they go back to the airport and fly back home everyone it's like kill me i would hate that that would be the absolute worst i'm not saying every day but even so often i was talking to a friend of mine that 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 was like i'm like oh hey what are you doing i'm flying out i'm flying out tomorrow i gotta go to such and such place i'm like oh okay well how are you be there oh no i'm just gonna just i have to go to this thing attend this thing and then jump back in fly back home like, are you freaking kidding me? That means you're spending uh, like five hours at the airport, like at least five hours at the airport or on an airplane. It's insane to me. Couldn't do it. Oh, I agree. That's way too much. Couldn't pay me enough to do that. <sighs> there we go. Are you I feel, okay? I feel better now. <laughs> Thank you. I feel better. My, my, my the blood's coming back to my, to my brain because it all went to my arms. Because I was just doing push-ups. I feel better now. You're gonna make so many full buddies at airports now. I'm excited for you. So when I used to be, when I used, when I went to, um, I shouldn't say this like this, but I'm gonna say it the way I say it. But I went to Bible college. When you're when you're pumped about something, you get excited about something. You want to talk to other people about what you're excited about. You know, I walk through the door. My kids want to talk to me about whether what they learn in school. 
or what happened at school. They're excited about it. You know, so for me, I was going to Bible college. I was excited about God. I was excited. About, I'm not saying I'm not anymore, but I, but but I would verbalize it to everyone. I was probably the worst person to sit next to on an airplane because I would sit there and go, "Hey, what's your name?" I would do the I would do the query approach, and they'd say, "Oh, I'm, I'm Greg, and I'm going to read this airplane magazine in front of me and pretend that I'm reading this and interested." So this guy stops talking to me, and I'm like 22. I'm like, "Hey, Greg, so what are you doing? What's your what's your what's your work?" Oh hey um yeah no just uh just uh the air the Sky Mall magazine please, uh, oh I work as a as a chiropractor uh, you know just people oh cool cool cool, uh, how long are you doing it Hey I'm just gonna just go ahead and just see what they have on page twelve here, it would go and I would have a full on hour and a half conversation with this guy by the end of it it was a handshake and a, but the guy was probably like. That was the word. I had to sit in line for four hours. <laughs> At what point to, did you bring up religion, though? Oh, like 20 minutes in. Well, yeah, that's your problem. You need to, you need to, Just jump right in? No, you need to ease that at the very end. Oh, at the end? At the very end, be like, well, by the way, have you accepted your Lord and Savior? <laughs> <laughs> no, you do it at the beginning. It starts then, the flight. Then they, then they won't yeah. talk to you. Oh, it starts yeah. the flight, though. <laughs> it's got to prove a point. Hey, yeah. <laughs> we're going to take off. Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> that is a good point. I want to accept before. <laughs> just Corey. Or just Craig. <laughs> you just hitting the turbulence. Hey, I haven't been in to ask you. <laughs> <laughs> you should probably think about it right now. I think this plane's going down. That's your you're one of two people there. You're joining the Mile High Club or you're you're talking to God. <laughs> That's the super mile high. Because it's way up higher. That would be higher. Because you're bouncing. <laughs> All right, let's do shout outs. Corey. I will shout out. Craig's daughter, Sid, for all these Heck sweet yeah. uh, bracelets I got on right here. Her putting the work in to make them for us. I know she doesn't listen to this, but Craig can tell how, her. How long does it take her to, to uh, tell her. How long does it take her to do one of those bracelets? I don't know. I don't think a it's real, super a, a hard. A good dad would. Oh, I'll ask her, and I'll, I'll report back to you. <laughs> can we have that <laughs> report you. written, please? <laughs> yeah. Verbal. Verbally and uh, write it down. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Thanks, thanks, Sid. Appreciate you. Big time. It's awesome. In fact, I kind of want to like pay her a little bit, not for these, because this is like this would be like the <laughs> this is this is like this the is sweat. a demo merch. <laughs> 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 but if other people want to get some of these bracelets, hit me up, and we can maybe uh, throw throw money to Sid and have her make them. Or my daughter is also in fu- is a kindergartner, and she could might be able to do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. No, she wouldn't be able to spell anything, though. It would just be random, random stuff. Yesterday, I, real quick, yesterday I got in an argument with her. She's five. And I'm like, who's in charge? She goes, me. I said, who's the boss? And she goes, me. I go, no, it's Tony Danza. No, I said, uh, I said, who's the boss? She goes, me. I said, oh, why? Like, why are you the boss? Because I am. And I go, are you stronger than me? Yeah. Are you smarter than me? Yeah. All right. Then spell... And I just I said Safeway. I'm like spell Safeway. She goes safe s s s s s w and I'm like ha s a f w a y. You're not smarter. I'm in charge. Ah, I felt so good to shut her down. <laughs> that would have been, would have been funnier if you accidentally spelt it wrong. And you're like dang, dang it. Now we're both not in charge. I don't think either of you are in charge anyway. <laughs> we're both not in charge. I don't think either of you are. We're not. I'm barely. I barely am. Craig, what's your shout out? I will do a shout out just in case anybody listens to the people that were on our ride of duck in Boston. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Just in case anybody is listening. That's right. This is your shout out. Let's talk about. I want to talk about that more on on the next episode. Okay. Uh, because you posted some things, you talked about it, but let's talk about it more on the next. That's a good teaser. I'm, I, I want to di- dig deep there. Uh, go go, uh, kind of deep with Corey, but really deep with Craig. Uh, my shout out is to uh, to you guys. You guys have been great to have on when you guys talked about, hey, we should do a garage night. I was like, you know, I don't know. How's it going to be received? I, it's been received well. We went over the stats. It's one of the top. Uh, stats of, of the the of the episodes out there. Thank you guys for listening and making it that. I uh, appreciate the guests that have been on this, and you guys have been so fervent in getting people on. I appreciate that as well. 
And then uh, also promoting the thing uh, f- from uh, talking to other people about it in Boston on a duck boat that we'll be talking about next episode to just going to the uh, Full Buddy Fridays, which we're going to have a Full be- full Buddy Friday. I completely forgot. Got to promote this right now. Full Buddy Friday next week. Next week. Not the 3rd. The 10th. We're doing a Full Buddy Friday. We're going to go hit up Mazatlan. We're then going to go hit up Cole Street and Bordeaux. Bring your friends. Come on out. Wear your full buddy gear. Uh, let's build this thing. Let's build it bigger and bigger. And that's my shout out right now. No, I'll be that shout out for next one. Spoiler alert. I'm going to shout out everyone that comes out to Full Buddy Friday if you're thinking about it. Anything to add before we leave, guys? No? No. Okay. Whisper. Whisper, whisper. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us. Have a great weekend. Have a great Labor Day weekend. We're taking Monday off. There's no brouhaha. It'll be coming out on the next Monday. And by the way, Dad, how do I episodes being released coming up here? Interviewed my interviewed my uncle. Got him in the lab. Thanks so much. Have a great week. Take care. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.